This is Lightning Ridge in northern New South Wales, Australia. This is the only place on Earth where Black Opal, Australia's national gemstone, is mined commercially. The town's awesome name comes not only from the opal-bearing ridges and relentless summer thunderstorms, but from a specific incident that happened over a hundred years ago. The current town of Lightning Ridge is the third incarnation of this mining community. I spoke with Barbara, secretary of the Lightning Ridge Historical Society, to learn more about Lightning Ridge's previous lives. This is the early map of Old Town that was officially known as Wallangala, the first settlement at Lightning Ridge. And this is as the government surveyor found it when he came to survey a new town. Jack Murray's said to be the man who found the opal, and he was a boundary rider on the local property where we're standing today. He was out setting rabbit traps when he picked up the pretty rocks. He was in this general area, which is the highest point. If we traveled up this ridge, it's the highest point in the district. And this was really the beginning of our settlement here at Lightning Ridge. He's noted what sort of structure they lived in, a bag hut. We have tents, bark hut. He tells us about the different services that were available. There was a billiard room, storekeepers, a carrier, butcher, cold drink shop that would have been hops and cordial, eating house, opal cutters, opal buyers, buildings that were canvas wrapped around cypress pine posts, bark roofs, very transportable. The school was active, I suppose, for three or four years, and it was about 1909 that the second settlement sprang up at the Three Mile, along the ridge and just below. The original Wallangala became Old Town because it was declining. Sadly, no tangible evidence left of the Old Town, but I'm told by reliable sources in the 70s, people came out here and found little chipping piles where the miners had worked their opal at their camps. And I think if you came out with a metal detector, you'd find a few coins and buttons, and who knows what else. The site of the Old Town is located on the Red Car Door Tour and is marked with a commemorative plaque. The Three Mile Flat was one of the earliest and most fertile opal fields, so it's only natural that a community formed on site as people moved from the Old Town of Wallangulla to the newer opal field. So here we are on the site of the settlement known as Nettleton. They had followed along from the first settlement, the fellows working along the ridge. They came this way. But Nettleton achieved a population, I'm not quite sure what the statistic would be, but they had the commercial buildings, they had a haberdashery, there was certainly a boarding house. The school started 1910 to 1913, got up to 38 children. This hut, or camp, was the home of miner Fred Bodell, who lived here from 1916 to 1973. While it was built after Nettleton's peak years in 1910 to 1912, it's still representative of the kinds of buildings that people lived in in the second settlement. Today it's very quiet on the Three Mile. By 1913, the government insisted that the people move into the new town that had been surveyed, take up the leasehold blocks. There were no more commercial permits, and the businesses were told to wind up and come into the new town. The settlement at Nettleton was named for Charlie Nettleton, the man who first identified the potential of black opal in the area. Nettleton? That name came along some time after. We do read in the Walgett Spectator that even in the 1930s, the place was referred to as Nettleton, even though no one lived down here apart from a few campers. There was no longer a, a proper settlement, but you can be sure there would have been remnants of that settlement. These few scattered buildings are not the only physical evidence of Nettleton. And lucky for the Historical Society, we have bought from the man who found it the brass postal seal. It would have been used with wax that was found down here in the gutter. This chap was looking for opal, you can be sure, but he found something much more valuable to us at the Historical Society and in our town. It's the only tangible evidence of this place as it was thriving back in 1910, 1912. Nettleton is located off the Yellow Car Door Tour and is part of the Old Chums walking track through the Three Mile Flat Opal Field. 
By 1908, the old town of Wollongulla was being abandoned. The second settlement at Nettleton was growing in size, and the local government chose to survey a new town area, somewhere close, but away from the mining field, somewhere least likely to be opal-bearing. The surveying continued. It was equidistant land from the two settlements, like a triangle. And it was in 1908 that the settlement was gazetted as Wollongulla. So the new town reused the old name of Wollongulla, but another name had been in use informally for many years. Back in 1998, the Historical Society decided it was important to enlighten people as to the name, Lightning Ridge. So we chose this site as described by Katie Langlow Parker. Her legendary tales tell us of Aboriginal lore on the Naran River up around Angledool. Bangat Station. Katie Langlow Parker lived on Bangat Station with her husband and she was very connected to the land. The Parkers were early people on the land north of Lightning Ridge back in the 1870s. They actually passed the site of a break in the ridge where the lightning struck. And in my bush book the reference is Lightning Ridge was so named because in one of these terrible inland storms Lightning killed 600 sheep, the shepherd, and the dog. While we have no way of knowing for sure if this story is true, it certainly is possible. In 1918, two lightning strikes in Utah killed 654 sheep, and in August of 2016, a strike in Norway killed 323 reindeer. Lightning Ridge was gazetted and became the town's official name in 1963, although the area had been referred to informally as Lightning Ridge as early as the 1910s, when the settlement was still known as Wollongulla. In fact, the name Wollongulla is a local Aboriginal word which has been translated to mean hidden fire stick, which many believe to be a reference to a lightning strike. These are blocks today that are for sale for residents. I think it'll be very sad when somebody builds on these blocks. but. We do have the stories and we have our plaque here that uh, shows a little bit of the layout and reminds us of how old Old Town is. If you visit Lightning Ridge, and you should visit Lightning Ridge, you should stop by and visit the Lightning Ridge Historical Society's cottage in Marilla Street and learn more about the history of the home of the Black Opal. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching.